Now I'll move on to discuss the second major tissue type in the body, epithelial tissue, including simple epithelium and stratified epithelium. Epithelial tissue is made up of different cell types which are organized into a sheet with one or more layers. And it consists mostly of cells with little extracellular material between the adjacent plasma membranes. It's arranged in a sheet and attached to a basement membrane. This can be seen in the image on the slide. There is very little extracellular space between each epithelial cell. Epithelium has a nerve supply but no blood vessels of its own and it's derived from all three primary germ cell layers. When epithelial cells are in a single layer they are called simple epithelium. They can either be flattened or cube shaped. Simple epithelium forms a lining of blood vessels and the heart. The cell shapes may be squamous or flat cuboidal or cube-like, or columnar, which are rectangular. Simple squamous epithelium has a single layer of flat cells and is found in parts of the body where filtration or diffusion is a priority. Simple cuboidal epithelium has a single layer of cube-shaped cells, and they function in secretion and absorption. Non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium has a single layer of non-ciliated rectangular cells and it lines most of the gastrointestinal tract. Epithelial cells in more than one layer are known as stratified epithelium. This is a tough, durable form of tissue. It provides protection in such places as the skin. Stratified cuboidal epithelium includes several layers of cells where cells at the apical surface are cube-shaped. It is found in adult sweat glands and a portion of the male urethra. Stratified columnar epithelium includes several layers of cells where the cells at the apical surface are rectangular. And this tissue type is found in the portion of the male urethra and large excretory ducts of some glands. Here's an image of the esophageal lining cross section showing squamous cells at the apical end, stem cells, and a basal lamina region. Stratified squamous epithelium includes several layers of cells. Non-keratinized variety lines the mouth. A keratinized variety of this tissue forms the epidermis, the most superficial layer of the skin. Glandular epithelium. Glandular epithelium is usually located in the lining of canals and tracts. Shown here in the image is a thyroid follicular gland made up of cuboidal epithelium and a colloid material in the middle. The substances produced in this thyroid follicular gland are secreted into the lymphatic vessels. Glandular epithelium is specialized for the secretion of hormones, milk, mucus, sweat, and saliva. And this type of epithelium usually has a high turnover in the body with rapid cell renewal. A gland is a single cell or group of epithelial cells adapted for secretion. There are two types, endocrine glands which secrete hormones into the bloodstream and exocrine glands which secrete into ducts or directly onto a free surface. Epithelial cells are unique. Unlike for example a red blood cell, epithelial cells have polarity. They have an apical and basal surface. They have an orientation and direction. The apical surface of the cell faces the exterior of the body or the lumen of a tract. The cells are attached to their base at the basal surface. Epithelial polarity is based on the majority of the organelles within the cell and other cytoplasmic components being either closer to the apical or basal surface. Whereas in most other cell types, these internal cellular components are more evenly distributed throughout the cell. The following is a clinical note on exfoliative cytology. Exfoliative cytology is the process of obtaining and examining cells from epithelial tissues of the body. The procedure is done to identify abnormal or cancer cells. 
An example of exfoliative phytology is a pap smear. A pap smear is usually performed as part of screening for cervical cancer. Cells are scraped and collected from the tip of the cervix and examined under the microscope for neoplastic changes. Cells from this region of the body can be converted from normal to cancer cells due to human papillomavirus. 